Welcome back to Elite Pro Wrestling. A huge matchup here tonight. We got the uh, Frankfurt Phenom making his debut here in Elite Pro Wrestling. And guys, the reason this is a huge matchup, well, this guy might be a hired gun. He might be an assassin, so to speak. Uh, Hassan Payne looking to try to take out Livewire. They have a huge matchup November the 22nd in Eau Claire for uh, Championship United Wrestling. And uh, we're going to see who's coming out to the ring. That's Hassan Payne's music. Yeah, and there he is. That's Hassan Payne. And there's the Frankfurt Phenom. Please welcome at this time the Libyan Nightmare, Hassan Payne. Hassan Payne, not so successful last time he was here. He was open, he'd walk in to the Black Camel. Well, still the Black Horse Bar and Grill. He fell to Chris Steele in a ridiculous fashion. I mean, Hassan Payne had that match won. They reversed the decision, if you do remember. Last time we were here in Winona, and uh, he ended up falling in that second matchup between himself and Chris Steele, uh, giving up the rights as he thought he had the rights, but he didn't. Packed house here in the Black Horse Bar and Grill. Hassan Payne now uh, has a couple of words for his opponent. I'm assuming on November the 22nd, it's gonna be a flag on a pole match against Livewire, and we're gonna hear what he has to say. First of all, cut the music. It's great to be back here in Winona, Michigan. Ah, he thinks we're in Winona, Michigan. Number two. In Eau Claire, Wisconsin. On Saturday night, November the 22nd, I have been forced into a match. Forced. Forced. That's right. Into a match. A flag on the pole match against one of your local favorites here, Livewire. Now, the loser must bow to the winner's flag or never wrestle again. So, this is going to take place, Eau Claire, Wisconsin, Championship Wrestling United, Saturday night, November 27th. But, with that being said, I would like all of you people in here to stand up and say goodbye to Livewire. Because this will be the last night that you see him in Winona, Minnesota. Okay? And that's right. Because I present to you. <laughs> the German Assassin. Christian. Livewire, you just heard it, flag on a pole match, but to get to Hassan Payne, he's got to get through Germany here tonight. Maybe he'll be bowing to Germany, who knows? Livewire, a fan favorite here tonight, is taking on the Frankfurt Phenom. Hassan Payne will be in his corner, I'm assuming. Hassan Payne, though, he can't be looking too far ahead. That dude's in the main event here tonight. Christian Kaiser, the name of the mask. German Phenom, Kaiser, he's a big boy. Here's Livewire coming out to the ring, former North American champion. But tonight he's not holding a belt, he's holding pride. He's battling countries, man. Taking on Germany tonight. Taking on Libya. 
on November the 22nd. Man, Christian Kaiser just looks determined, man. He's got a German singlet on, he's got a German mask. Probably has German underwear on. I'm totally cool with that. Live wire. Packed house. Black Horse Barn Grill on their feet. Hassan Payne came out and said, hey, this might be the last time you ever see him. He's totally right. I don't even know why people would boo him for that. I don't understand. I mean, it's, it's a totally appropriate Yes, I mean, Christian Kaiser's got Hassan Payne in his corner, and that's about all you need to get a win in a matchup. These fans are firmly behind Livewire, but I'm, I'm sure that's the last thing on Christian Kaiser's mind. He's here just to shut Livewire up. I mean, according to my notes, he was hired by the Libyan Nightmare Hassan Payne. He doesn't care about anything besides whooping some tail. And maybe drinking beer, eating sauerkraut. Assuming that's what Germans love. USA chance starting here in Winona, the Black Horse Bar and Grill. I think Germany's great. They gave us Oktoberfest. They, uh, yeah. Good beer over there, they got beer battered things, I think. I don't know, I don't have a problem with Germany. I don't understand why Winona has a problem with Germany. I'm sure that over, at, probably all these people here probably are, come from German descent. I don't understand why they're so mad. It's a funny thing about living in the United States. Hassan Payne covering. Christian Kaiser's ears. These fans just cheering you at just chanting USA. You know, it's almost like it's like, yeah, I like potato chips, but I don't like French fries. I mean, it's like makes no sense. You know, because they both have potatoes in them. Like, I'm cheering for USA, but I'm from, you know, I have German descent. Makes no sense. Here is the headlock by Christian Kaiser on Livewire. Livewire, very technically sound wrestler. We know that. Seen quite a bit of uh, Livewire over the years. Oh! Kaiser letting the ref know, hey man, I'm from Germany, what's up? I don't know what kind of uh, standing that holds in a matchup, but Livewire is just trying to get these fans to continue cheering USA because obviously the Frankfurt Phenom doesn't want to hear it. Lock up now, Livewire with the headlock, wrenching the headlock on Christian Kaiser. He's out of that though, he's got a... Oh, hammerlock, nice reversal by Livewire. Gotta give it to him there. Oh, shots in the midsection. Livewire now, picking up the big Christian Kaiser and throwing him on the map. If we know anything about Livewire, it's how much he feeds off his fans. I mean, this guy could come out here with a broken arm and a broken neck, it wouldn't matter. As long as he has the fans behind him, he's good to go. He feeds off that adrenaline rush. Hassan Payne on the outside, flagging down Christian Kaiser. Maybe he's a little hot. He's walking around the ring. Look at this guy, he's big. He has a little person chasing him. And the last place you'd think Christian Kaiser wants to be is in this audience because, man, they're just letting him have it. They do not like this guy. They don't like the colors red, black, and yellow. I think those colors are great today. Not because of the German flag, I just think you know, it's a good color. Livewire now reaching over, but oh! Smarts there by Christian Kaiser. Hanging Livewire's neck up to dry. And now the Frankfurt Phenom looking to capitalize. Shots to the back. 
just so smart and tactical. People call him a coward and say, hey man, you gotta get in the ring, but when you're on top of the match like you are now, you just look smart. Live wire now in the corner. Shot to the face now by Christian Kaiser. Another shot to the face using those big forearms, those big German forearms. And right now the Frankfurt Phenom is on top. And he's covering him, the ref's gotta get there. That's easily a three count. Nope, one count. That was easily a three count. Hassan Payne now getting the ref's face knowing him, hey, that was a three count. Christian Kaiser using this to his advantage. He's choking Livewire out now. Breaking the rules every way he can to try to get an advantage in this matchup. It's what you got to do. It's what the Germans did in the World Cup. Going for the cover now. Kick out there by Livewire. Fans here in Winona hate this Christian Kaiser guy. Doing some push-ups, choking out Livewire, continuing the onslaught. You know, the Germans are known for breaking rules, particularly in the mid-1900s. Uh, Anybody? World War II? Broke some rules there. Christian Kaiser making sure that stereotype is still alive and well. And now Kaiser is saying, hey man, look at these fans over here, they're bothering me. And Hassan Payne taking advantage of that. You do what you gotta do. You gotta break the rules a little bit. You gotta break the rules a little bit. You gotta get the win. Do they keep track of how many rules you break in pro wrestling? No. Do they keep track of how many wins you have in pro wrestling? Yes. So why wouldn't you do everything you can to get a win? That's what Christian Kaiser's policy is, and it's working to the fullest here tonight. He's been dominating this matchup so far. Oh, gosh! Almost like a DDT pullover, and now he's going for like a sort of a chicken, like a chicken chokeout, I want to call it. Maybe a sauerkraut chokeout, I don't know. Sauerkraut plex, we'll call it. Kaiser right now on top of Livewire just squeezing the life out of him. And these are two big guys, man. Probably pushing 250. In the ring, you're probably looking at a combined weight of around 500 pounds in the ring right now. Kaiser is just giving it to him. In the turnbuckle, not a place you want to be. Hassan Payne over there. And now here comes Kaiser again. Calling out these fans. Hassan Payne taking advantage. Livewire getting choked out yet again. And Christian Kaiser is just doing everything he can to get the win tonight. Oh, elbow to the heart of Livewire. And you almost got to think that Hassan Payne's thinking way past this night. He's thinking about November 22nd. He wants to wear a Livewire down in this matchup so he has an easier chance to win in that flag on a pole match. Aside from all of the rule breaking, having the guy in your corner, Christian Kaiser looking mighty impressive here tonight. He's looking to make uh, Livewire bow down to his, his flag before November 22nd. I mean, we don't even know if Livewire is going to make it out of here. That match right now is looking like it's uh, like it might or might not happen with how uh, Livewire is faring right now. And these fans cheering USA right now, firmly behind Livar. He's getting that jolt. He's getting that electricity. Shot to the face. Headbutt. Kaiser goes down to the mat. That might be the first time that he's been on his back the entire match. Livewire now. Whipping Kaiser off the turn, or off the ropes. Spine buster. Cover. Two. Kick out by Kaiser. He's not letting his homeland go down without a fight. USA versus Germany. Pretty sure they played each other in the World Cup last year and USA got demolished. Germany coming off the ropes now. Kaiser, go! You know, when you see a guy like Livewire, you don't think he can get up like that. Two count, three, oh no. Almost got the three count. And that's the thing about Livewire, he surprises you. You mean, you know, he's a bigger guy. 
but he's able to get up off his feet and feed Christian Kaiser some of that heel. Kaiser getting out of that uh, flip the switch maneuver that Livewire likes to do. Oh, man. The brat breaker. The brat breaker by Christian Kaiser. Going for the cover. But the kick out, Livewire feeding off these fans here somehow, some way. Doesn't want to let the U.S. down. Now they're getting back up to their feet. Kaiser's wondering, hey man, what do I have to do to get the win tonight? Well, oh, maybe nothing, because here to flip the switch is Livewire. That's got to be it. One, two, three count. Livewire's not bowing down to any flags tonight. He gets the win here with Hassan Payne in Christian Kaiser's corner. One down, one to go. Livewire's moving on to Libya. Hassan Payne wants to get in the ring and should be celebrating yet. Tension. High as ever as the Libyan Nightmare, Hassan Payne and Livewire. They're facing off November the 22nd. Hassan Payne inches his way in the ring. This dude's still in the main event tonight. He's got to be careful. He can't hurt himself. He has a huge matchup here still later tonight. Livewire has a great record here in Winona, representing the U.S. of A. Topping the Frankfurt Phenom, Christian Kaiser. He's walking out a minute, or Winona. Luckily for him, he's walking. That's all I had to do. He's walking out. Stop pain. Hiring Christian Kaiser to try to take out Livewire before their November 22nd matchup. Christian Kaiser did everything he could to get the W. Couldn't do it tonight. Man, look at Livewire. The fans love him here. Well, folks, you need to mark that on your calendars. November the 22nd, flag on a pole match. Livewire, the Libyan Nightmare, Hassan Payne, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. It's going to be a big, big match if you're not going to want to miss this one. And you're not going to want to miss the rest of the show. North American Championship is on the line. Coming up next, don't go anywhere. <laughs>